this time on Woody's garage. The CT70 is gobbling more time. Okay, we're back over here by the bike where it's dark and much harder to see. And we've cleaned up the parts. Of course, now that I look at them, they're not that clean, but they're clean. We're going to take this job here. This thing is the clutch adjuster that sticks outside of the bike. And I don't even remember taking this out of the case, but I guess I must have. You got this thing here, which I guess goes in there. <laughs> I'm such a pro. And we'll put that there. And we'll put the nut on outside here. Gosh, I thought there was a washer that went on this. I'll have to look and see if there is, and then we'll just add one later. But at least we got the... We got onto a point that it's not going to fall off when we try to um, put the case on. It looks like it's right. Never clean enough. Like I said, the, the best thing is that we uh, preserve this gasket. It's a good shape. I wiped it off. I'm going to put a little RTV on it before I assemble it. All right, we're looking at the side case. One thing I haven't cleaned yet is the screen, although it's pretty clean. I mean, the engine itself is very clean inside. It's really nice. It ain't no, <coughs> it ain't no dirty Sanchez. Okay. <clears throat> this surface is so nice and clean here. I hate to put even RTV on it. You know, because the next time you take it off, <laughs> it won't be happy. Okay, there's a gear here that goes on that uh, lines up with the... Uh, the primary gear here and I can kind of tell just by looking at it the difference in wear. Hmm. I feel like it has burrs on it. No, I guess it's good. Um, this part is going to go this way, this small part where you can see that line. Can you see that? I'm going to stick that out. There's also a bushing that rides along here. That can wear out, but yeah, we're not even going to check it for wear because everything seems beautiful I don't feel any wear or anything it's so smooth how could there possibly be a problem okay then the clutch goes over that and you can see just how how uh, far in these teeth go into this and that's why that wear mark I realize that this the, the direction are which way to put this gear in. Does that make any sense? Because uh, it sticks in only that far. Okay, looks like we got threads. Not absolutely sure that's correct, but... <clears throat> this gas lines the frig out of the way. Get out of here. Um, okay, uh, yeah, I just found another cup full of parts, which is always fun. Where do these go? Just throw them out. Okay, we got the nut, and we got a washer. Looks like I stuck it in here so that it all makes sense. This thing is a little, um, call it parabolic convex. It's got a hump in it. And we'll put the hump so it's in the middle. I'm pretty positive that that's correct. We'll put the tab thing, safety tab on first. A little dirty. But once again, it ain't no dirty Sanchez. Got little tabs on this side too that stick in through there. Yeah, those got fit in there. Hmm. But I'm wondering if this thing is seated because as soon as I put this washer on, yeah, we hardly have any threads there. 
So something is up. I don't think, I don't think that's in far enough. Yeah, I can't even catch those threads, so something's not right. Okay, I grabbed the primary gear here a little bit, and I just kind of pushed back and forth, and I could feel the clutch kind of doing its thing, and it seemed to pop in a lot further than it was. Got the washer. Oh, look at it. It even says on it, outside. So I was correct about the hump being in towards the center, sticking out. And now we have a lot more threads to get our special nut on. I don't know why they didn't just use a regular nut instead of this nut. I'm sure there's a reason, probably for the safety tab. Although you could, there are safety tabs for regular nuts too. Yeah, that's looking a lot better there. Jeez, it's like I know what I'm doing. Okay. Now here's our impact with our special tool. And at the moment, we're just gonna snug it up the best we can because I know that's supposed to be torqued and I can't remember the spec. I think it might be 30 foot pounds. I don't know. I'm gonna give it one rap tap tap. Just to get it on there. And I'll look up the spec. And I guess that's what we need to do before we can continue. The torque specification is 28 to 33. So I set my torque wrench at 30. Close enough, right? I just made one of these. I had one in the past. It's just a penny with a hole drilled through it. And uh, it's on a uh, zip tie so that you can get it up and in between the gears while you do this torque setting. Otherwise, there's no way to hold the engine from going forward that I know of. So you push it up in there and hope it kind of meshes in the gears while you take your torque wrench, put it on. I think it's in there now. I fell out. I mean, there's got to be a... I think that's in there. But everything's turning. Why is everything turning? Everything's turning and that kind of scares me. Like the clutch isn't right. Okay, we're back over here. Somehow I thought this was all going to be so easy. So, remember when I said like I didn't take apart this last bit of it? And that maybe I'd be back to take it apart? Well, I'm back to take it apart. So, there are these four screws that hold the innards in. And another thing I said, I didn't notice on the schematic, that it does show those roller things, which I have. Some of them, like, it's weird. You look at basically the same engine and people are using different sets of clutch plates, which, um, you know, is a little weird. I'm not experienced to know enough if, you know, the plates I have are still correct or if they're wrong. Okay, we got that one. These are GIS screws, and I'm not using a GIS bit.
nonetheless they work so you're just really loosening them up with this okay surprising this is going well some guy after a little honda list gave me his phone number to call him up and i said i'll give you a call if uh, you know i'm having problems and I probably will end up calling him, and he'll probably be eating his uh, Christmas dinner or something. Okay. Okay. We take these out. We'll take... These two sides out, and then we'll ease this thing out. It's under pressure with springs, and it can bind up. I know this from watching another video. So, you know, a couple turns on this side. A couple turns on this side. Yeah, I just felt the thing release. I don't know what we're going to find on this side, but I guess we've got to spec out the springs and stuff and see if they're right. Now we've got these other little dampening springs here, which are always a pain in the you-know-what. Hmm. Kind of hung up on one side there. And what do we find in here? A eh, little goop. These springs have a way of getting lost, and already I see three, only three. Like, no shit, where, the, where is the other one? It's right there. And then you got four, am I still in frame? You got four of these, and I was hoping to see something really tweaked in here, and I don't see anything tweaked in here. So I should explain what I think was happening, why I couldn't torque that thing up, is the clutch should have been engaged at that point, meaning that it should be as one with the engine so that I could torque that nut and the clutch was slipping, telling me something was wrong. I'm gonna go soak them in the uh, gas bucket while I eat lunch. And, uh, I mean, they look pretty clean. They really are, but there is this slimy crap on them. I want to get that off. Okay, it's all cleaned. I put it all back together. And things aren't much different. I don't, I can't really tell if I'm getting the penny in the gears. I can get it up here because I can see it. Ah, oh, that damn pipe just fucking cut me again. Um, but... I can't get in under here to see if it's getting stuck in there. So I've taken the impact driver. I took both the, um, this one, tightened it with that. Yep. Oh, I just dropped it on my toe. And then I did it with this. I pounded it a couple of times. I got this tab to line up and fuck it. I'm going to close it up. That tab goes into that right there so that it will not move and uh, we're just going to try it I guess like that and that and that's all the bike is on its side now because it's more advantageous to putting the parts together so they don't fall off I just spent the last hour and a half looking for that piece which was there all the time it was just pushed in <laughs> but I got it so um, I think we're gonna proceed yeah the deal with that is is I had the spring out of it because it's spring loaded in here and I had this pushed all the way I'm not gonna take the spring out right now cuz eat me I've been searching for it forever 
uh, and it'll probably go flying across the room or something. Um, so that, that was spring loaded and it was in there and I, I didn't think I had it because it was supposed to be sticking out like this. So this thing goes in. Supposedly these line up some weird way. Um. Yeah, oh yeah. Now I'm looking for a spring, that another spring that I can't find. And there's flies buzzing around my head. And I'm about to fucking scream. Because I don't know where that spring is and that I just had in my hand. Holy shit. This sucks. Yeah, I found it. Of course. It's just that part of the day where flies are just like driving you absolutely insane. It's the only thing they want to do. They're not in this basement to do anything except for antagonize you. That's it. They love it. And they, oh, and they do. So, this was the spring I was missing. You can see it right here. It goes right out here. Or it's another spring I was missing, I should say. Let me correct my screw-ups. And there's this thing that looks like, you know, a UAP. I can't even get myself on the screen here. Okay. It goes here. Pretty neat. It's all ball bearings. And then this thing. They say it goes like, like about like this. Which I guess goes down here inside of that did you see that if you missed it too bad okay then we got this thing which is how you adjust the clutch i'm actually going to screw it out quite well maybe i should screw it in um this i think should be on the uh the outer cover I don't think you can it belongs like here but I don't see how you can line it up correctly this whole thing blows it really does I hate you I mean how how is it all supposed to stay in the same place while you put on a cover And like, if this is on the cover, then how is it going to like just line up and push everything in correctly? That's one thing I've never seen anybody do on any of the videos. You know, this kind of like won't really stay. It's great to have the brake in the way. Getting real cynical now. Um, well, if I didn't have to put RTV on it, then it wouldn't be such a big deal. And I think we'll just do a dry run right now. I get the cover. He's getting real grouchy now. <laughs> yeah, I showed you before how it went on in here, and that pin has to line up in there. But like, how do you do it now so that it lines up in there? And everything doesn't like fall. Steady, steady. I can see the threaded thing there. I got like a little screwdriver, maybe I could I know oh, you got the fucking fuel hoses in the way. Ah. 
How will I know if it's... Ah, oh, fuck. I'll try it the other way. I don't think this is going to work. Okay, we got this in where it's supposed to be. I'm going to give this one attempt on camera. Because I don't think it's going to work. What optimism. And then I'm probably going to turn the camera off and try it 8,000 times until I get it. And everyone kind of gets to this point and that's the end of their video. It's kind of strange. I mean, look at this is just totally blind. I mean, it's not going together at all. I know, the brake's in the damn way. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. gonna waste the whole day I guess. The 1974 horse jump. Okay I got the bike even more horizontal, more on its side, and this thing will stay centered a little bit better. I just had the cover on like perfect and I pinched one of these damn fuel lines. Ah. So I took it off and I had to make sure everything was okay. They're out of the way now. I'm also, I'm wondering right now, should I dab a little ATV on, uh, RTV, because um, I think things are looking good and I think it's going to go together. I also got some rags over here to hold the brake down. A bit. I'm going to put a little more in so it's out of the way. No, I don't want to undo all that again. I changed my mind. I'm not going to use any RTV. If this clutch is screwed up and I have to take it apart, then I don't want to have to clean that off. Okay, this is pretty much what I did the last time. Eased it on a little bit. Line it up on the case sides. I don't know if you can see that. There's some uh, dowel pins and just tap. Get it. Oh, look at that. It went right on. Or almost right on. Right on. And I think that's good. Yeah, baby. I think. <laughs> Don't cheer too loud. Okay, now there's all these screws to put in. The kick start and all that crap. So that's what's next. I don't think I got a video of that. That looks good. Uh, the bottom. It's kind of dirty. These holes for the foot pegs here. If you'd use the wrong ones, they'll go into the case. They'll crack the damn case. They also get dirt in them, and then people put the uh, bolts back in, and they strip them all out. So, it's good to clean up this area down here. It's like brake cleaner. It's not like brake cleaner, it is brake cleaner, or carb cleaner. What is it? Brake cleaner. It's right the first time. And I hate getting this stuff in my hands, and it's spitting back all over my hands. Okay, that was a clean. Yep, I'll die from that, but thank God those are clean. Yeah, we got four in. This one feels like it's about to strip, so it's tight. It'll probably fall out. I had a engine guard, or I have an engine guard right there. You can see those two things sticking up. Goes from up there to under here. It's like a skid plate. I don't think I'm going to put it on at this time. I don't even know why I'm putting the pegs on. 
because I'm kind of doubting that this clutch is going to work, but we're continuing pretending that it's going to. Okay, it's looking a little bit more like a Honda CT70. What's next is you got to put oil in it. $9 oil I bought. I made a comment on about the clutch once and then someone said, well, some idiot must have put in the wrong, not motorcycle oil. And my response is I have uh, seven Hondas and for years I've just used regular motorcycle oil and never had a problem with the clutch. But I guess we're going to try it this time because we want to waste money. Yeah, we got oil in it. It's fine. I got to find out what the initial adjustment is on the clutch right here. Kicks over fine. I actually rode it already and it most of the gears just fine too. I'm going to take it for a little ride around the uh, neighborhood.